Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marwa. Welcome if you are new and if you're not new, welcome back. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Strictly Come Dancing's Christmas special. Now, just before Christmas, I released like a pre-Christmas Christmas special Strictly Come Dancing lineup review, which was completely and utterly chaotic. So hopefully these videos will go a little bit smoother, but if you just want to laugh at me for, I don't know how long the video is, five, six minutes, then the uh, link will pop up here in the cards. Please watch that after you've finished watching this one. Let's get straight into it. So first one that I'm going to be reacting to is J, J Blades and Luba's Jive. So they're doing it to the Only Fools and Horses theme theme tune, which kind of already sets it up to be a little bit comical. Um, the drive is quite an upbeat dance, so I'm expecting a lot of energy as well. And I'm just expecting this to be overall very entertaining. In my pre-Christmas video, I said I'd really like him to see um, Latin, perhaps a cha-cha-cha, just because he's got such a wonderful smile on his face. So let's see if that shines through in this dance. <laughs> Good characterization, nice. Nice stop and goes there. Really nice kind of uh, syllabus based classic moves in this actually. Nice. Good. You look like you was a bit scared to drop her there. He's really, really believable in this. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Keep the energy up. I like that piece of choreography as well. Nice, that was a very effortless lift. Alright, go on Jay. overly like critical or um mean i don't think mean is the right word i don't think i'm gonna be overly critical just because they're not dancing again this is just something that they're doing for fun and it's a one-off kind of thing um but you know if if, if i was to be critical should i be critical okay for those that are watching that want to improve their jive okay there was um, slight issues with the posture and also like the bounciness of the jive the bounce wasn't there the footwork wasn't quite there but if we're just bringing it back to like Christmas positivity and, and feeling good and, and feel good dances, he played the character really well. It really suited him. Like the outfit was cute. The choreography was actually really nice because the choreography took a lot of syllabus based jive steps, which you could go take away to like a closed competition um, and perform. And it was just nice to see those moves in there, to see the variations of those moves. So that was really good to see. Um, I enjoy the choreography. I like the characterization, as I said. 100% was there um, and he looked like he had fun he maintained a, a constant level of energy throughout which was good I don't like it when people start off super super energetic and then halfway through they're just kind of like so exhausted they can't continue um, so there was a good amount of energy the whole way through yeah let's see what the comments say loved this but the idea that Luba was supposed to be Rodney was hysterical absolutely love this can't be the only one who got a bit emotional at the message from david jason uh message before the scores either lovely christmas tree i haven't seen that so i'm i'm sure it's i'm sure it was lovely i'm an only fools and horses fan i love this brilliant well done luba and jay great performance i uh, don't like a lot of dance styles ballet break and pole dancing are the only ones that really hold my interest love this song i often ask myself why do only fools and horses work exceptional homage 
Homage? Homage. Homage. Ah, uh, what does Luba need to do to actually, to get an actually good dancer? Ooh. Or Jay. What are they saying? <laughs> Would you have preferred her with Adrian Charles? WTF. WTF. He did way better than I was expecting. Hopefully returning next year, she hella deserves someone like Kelvin or Reese. Choreography was great. I even think pairing Reese with Nancy was kind of unfair because it's Luba who deserves a good dancer and not a new pro in the first series. Wow, I didn't realise that there was this controversy. Obviously, I haven't seen the start of like the first like eight weeks of Strictly Come Dancing. I still need to do that. Um, but I'm assuming she wasn't partnered up with someone that people wanted to partner up with. Um, also, poor Nancy, man. It's not her fault. Uh, Philip, it's to do with height. I love it when things like that happen. Like sometimes it's just such a practical reason and people like, you know, they have this kind of song and dance about how annoyed they are about something and it's like, it's it's a height thing, guys. So it is unfair that four out of five partners she's had, Christmas special or main show, are mostly set up to fail. She did do well with Jake Wood in 2019. Oh wow, people, people are getting mad about this, aren't they? I don't watch Only Fools and Horses, but this is hilarious. I love this heart, ha <laughs> ha. What a jolly tune to dance to. Actually, I didn't comment on song choice. It was, yeah. Where's that? I'm not gonna say that word. Rodney, I think that's a rude word in England. I think so. What a lovely thing to see on the internet. Bravo BBC, you're lovely, thank you. Anton Nelly gave him a two, but a nine, lol. They both understood the assignment. Beyond. Okay, cool. Nice, that was good. If I was scoring that, um, just, just for the dancing alone, dancing alone, not the fact that it's Christmas, I would probably give it a five. Because it's Christmas, they can get a seven. I'm going to react to the rest of them as well, so please don't forget to subscribe so you are ready for when those are out. Um, until then, here's some other videos to help keep you busy.